Hey, what's up, guys? This is Game Guy, and I am bringing you a Call of Duty Ghost map layout guide on the map Freight. That thing is kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> I've said it four times already, but it, you know, I have to clear my head to think about it. Well, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. You get my point. But anyways, like I said in the previous videos, I'm going to be bringing you a map layout guide just to show you all the locations and little areas on the map just to get you a good idea or give you a good idea on what the maps look like and how everything is uh, just in case you don't have the game yet or something like that so anyways as always I start with ghosts I don't know it's just a habit the ghosts spawn on this side with the crane and they have this little step up I forgot what those things are called huge crate things but I'll show you the ghost side before I cross the train track. That's a good idea. There's this building, this hole in the wall. Good places to throw care packages down or whatever. Gas tank. Hey, look, my dogs are trained to kill. Keep out. That's pretty cool. This is this alleyway. I already showed you that building. I'm going to go ahead and show you this building and then fluctuate between the other two. So up top, you can come out here. Uh, the Federation they spawn way back there so they usually come from this side or you know through there or over there so you can come out right here you see this side you see that you see that and you can also see this so that's a good little area downstairs it actually goes underground to their side I don't even see many people using this I'm not sure why they don't use it. It's actually quite convenient. But this this is what it looks like. I don't know if that door opens or not. But see, this fence is closed. And what you do is you shoot the lock. And it opens up. Which is really, really awesome. It goes under the train track. I usually, usually use it every now and then. It's quite convenient to get to one side of the map to the other without you know getting noticed. And it usually works for me. So I'd recommend you try it. This side opens up. There's a wall right here, so you can't go back that way. And there's this area. You climb up, and as I saw, uh, showed you a second ago, you have this opening up right there. So basically, you see this area, and then all these buildings, and down through there. So we'll go back across the train track and finish up these buildings. We have the other one. I swear the footsteps are weird and it sounds like people are following you. It's kind of creepy. Alright, there's this is like a beer factory, it looks like. Kegs. Does it get ghost face on it? Oh, I thought it did. But uh, anyways. Oh, these are mail. Mail room. Oh, here's a bathroom. You can look back down and through this area. Infected is also on this game, so you might see some good locations you could hide from. You could actually jump out of this. I don't know if you can actually make that jump. I think you can stand on that railing and jump through this window, but I don't want to try it right now. Just to get this commentary over with pretty quickly. So Again, you can see these areas. And uh, you can see out this window. Nothing special. Here's a doorway which comes down on these barriers. The ghosts spawn right there. So you, you can go back to these big barricades and there's locations under here you can actually you know hide under there stuff, which would be pointless, but anyways. This leads over to this side. Shoot that open, jump back in here. And I actually didn't notice that until now, so good thing I caught that. <laughs> And then you can either go down here and go around this way or you can go across the barricade which connects to the train and a lot of people usually get right here and wait for people to cross or something but usually you'll see an enemy here like right when you get here there will always be enemies there I know for sure that you'll always see enemies coming out of this area and then coming out of this door so you have to be aware of that train track again and now we get to go to this side so right here this building is actually pretty cool this 
thing right here. You can't jump up and actually get it, but you see the ghost face. You just shoot it, and it'll fall. And we'll go ahead and go up here. But you can climb up here. This leads to the top of this building. It also has a staircase and that ladder beside the door, so you know if there are more ways. You usually have to jump to land on this windowsill, or you'll fall like I just did. But you can also get out on this side and oh crap yeah you'll fall but this is what it's like there's a staircase as well by this door and you can exit this building through that as well but yeah you can if you jump right you can land on that windowsill I just I'm running out of time I got five I should have put it as unlimited time but I didn't so I got five minutes left to you know basically give you the rundown of this map so here's another building nothing too fancy you might can make that jump I don't know uh, I couldn't alright but let's go through this area again you can shoot out on this map you might see some people in here uh, upstairs you'll see people commonly and coming on that barricade place over there not barricade but crates and then through the beer store thing beer factory Porter Beer Factory. Uh, and then you can come through here. Same thing here. You can see this. Usually when you come around this area, you'll run into enemies there. So I'd recommend coming up through this building, through the stairs, and then you can easily get a kill right here. Bam. But you might can make this jump. Oh, made it. But see the, the hands? That's like Battlefield. So I think anyways, but... Here's this building. It also comes out on the bottom. You know. And I could come through here and shoot those guys. And then someone upstairs could get that. But <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyways. Here is the underground area. You know. This area. And then, you know, one long big line of sight. This is a lumber yard around here and this is where the Federation spawns here's this area you know again you got very long line of sights back here right here you can go under there go around here and usually if you make it to this side there are usually some enemies coming through that door like in cranked or whatever so bam you get them and it leads back to this building so that's pretty much it for this map, guys. <laughs> it's not necessarily too big, but I hope you enjoyed. I need to go ahead and get off this video because my throat is very scratchy right now. and I'm about to cough again. But <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And stick around because I'll be uploading more Call of Duty Ghost map layout guides. Thanks for watching.